Hey everyone, this is Sean, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the pen for the Surface Pro 3. So as you probably already know, you can launch OneNote, whether the Surface is turned off or whether you're in any screen, just by tapping the top button. So when I do that, you see OneNote immediately comes up. Now one of the questions that I received was um, whether or not the this stylus, this Entrig digitizer, uh, has any sensitivity. And it actually does, so I will show that to you in just a, a second. So you can see if I press down lightly, uh, the th line is thin. But as I press down hard, the line gets thicker. And I can press so lightly that it barely picks up anything. And then the harder I press down, the thicker the lines become. And I can, I can uh, change the, wi the width of the line depending on how hard I press down on the surface. Now you can also see, it might be hard to see, but it feels like where the tip of the pen touches the tablet, that is actually where uh, the ink comes on the tablet. And from my perspective, it doesn't feel like there's any delay. Uh, if I go really quick, you can see it follows it very well. And it feels like it is literally right on the tip no matter what angle I look at it. Now, uh, I do want to say that there's a lot of articles out there that I've seen that really talks about the numbers, about how there's, let's say, you know, 256 levels of pressure sensitivity, talking about the actual data behind the lag, behind the sensitivity. I'm not going to get into all that in this video. What I'm basically going to show in this video is some real life um, examples. I'm going to write some things down. I'm going to draw some pictures. And you can get all the nitty gritty details elsewhere. Uh, check out my video description for some links uh, for reading that you can do. Okay, so for writing, um, I usually like to have um, some lines. You can see I put up some lines in OneNote. Um, let's go ahead and make this full screen. And I'm going to go ahead and write out a few sentences so that you can see um, what it looks like. Uh, here we go. go. So as you can see, I actually sped up the video because it would have been a little too long for you to watch me kind of write that all out. Uh, I got one question, somebody asking about how sensitive the stylus is near the edges of the screen. Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to draw a few things here so that you can see uh, when I get close to the edge what that looks like. It feels like when I'm at the edge of the screen, it's still very, uh, very sensitive. I don't notice any uh, real differences on the edge of the screen. Okay, so you saw me writing with the pen. Now I'm going to show you what it's like to draw with the pen. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a picture, and I'll speed up the footage so that you can see it um, in high speed. So there you go, 
that is uh, Baby Mario on Yoshi. Uh, this is from Yoshi Island on the Super Nintendo. Uh, and there you go, all done with the Surface Pro 3 using the pen. I would not have been able to do this with my Surface 2 uh, using the stylus with the big rubberized tip. Um, but using the Entrig stylus on the Surface Pro 3, I can, this is, this is about what I can do on paper. So I'm very, very impressed that I'm able to um, draw like this using the uh, pen for the Surface Pro 3. So that was it. That was basically what I wanted to show. Uh, a little bit of writing and a little bit of drawing. Uh, and my experience with the Surface Pro 3 pen. If you thought this video was helpful, uh, please like it and uh, do share this video. Thank you very much for watching.